Okay, hi. So uh, today I uh, I had a question um, from somebody regarding uh, our rondos, our warm up phase of the training, and so I thought I'd answer it in a short video blog. So with a little story. So basically, um, that six seven years ago when we did our first trip to uh, Barcelona to Spain. We went and had some training done at the Camp Nou. Just behind the Camp Nou is the mini stadium and behind next to the mini stadium are two fields that the Academy, the Barcelona Academy kids train training. Um, so we organized some training sessions there and spoke to the gentleman who was um, organizing it and said that we wanted to learn uh, um, about our, about positioning games and rondos and things like that. So. Um, We've been doing rondos for, for years. Rondos has, has always been um, a form of warm-up, nearly in, in all of my professional teams and in, in a whole range of things. But um, going to Barcelona and watching them and, and listening to, to the coaches and um, um, brought a whole new perspective to, to the whole uh, vision of what a rondo is and, and what it's for. So um, it was interesting because he had our kids doing... Um, not just normal rondos, but um, starting off with like three versus one um, with the ball in the hand rather than the ball at the feet. Uh, and the objective there was to do a bounce pass. So you had to, you couldn't throw it to each other's hand, you had to bounce it to each other. And the player in the middle had to try to intercept. You couldn't actually um, tackle or take the ball off anyone's hands. You had to try to get the ball while it was being thrown. So you had to try and anticipate what players were going to do. Um, so, so yeah, so that was the first one, and then it went. It, it, it kept going and it kept changing, and he kept doing lots of different rondos, which challenged the cognitive process. So um, different things. Um, one of them, which was really really interesting, was um, he put different coloured bibs on the kids, and he then instructed them that they had to call uh, the colour of the bib of the player that was passing the ball to them before they received the ball. So this sort of, sort of forced them to look up and it sort of forced them to do two things at once. So um, the whole purpose was to enhance the, the thought process and to get them thinking and to get them trying to um, do two things at once. So nearly everything that we learned um, in those few days, those first days at Barcelona, I think we had a four day camp there. Um, literally everything was based on cognitive processes. It wasn't based on technical training it was all based on um, speed of thought uh, decision making and Ronda's played a huge, huge part in it yeah so he explained to us that it was all about as I said it was all about getting them to think getting to do things at speed in small areas um, with overload and um, so then I asked him an interesting question I, I, I turned around and said so what age do you start this at um, because the kids that we had there were 12 years and above. Um, and he basically turned around and said, we start at under sixes. And that sort of blew me away because I tried to do rondo. I tried to do, prior to that, I tried to do rondos with six-year-old kids. And it was, to me, it was impossible. It was like, man, this doesn't work. You know what I mean? These kids don't have the level. They don't have the balance. They don't have the understanding. They don't have anything. So, um... He then turned around and said to me, and how many times did you try it? <laughs> and that's sort of, I sort of, you know, this thing kicked in my head and thought, oh, okay, yeah, why didn't I think of that sort of thing? So um, he goes, Gus, if you do it once and it doesn't work, of course it's not going to work. It's the first time they've done it. But if you persist and you say, you know, you look at six months down the track where you do it consistently, consistently every day, even if they're not doing it properly in the beginning, they learn quickly and eventually they'll be doing it to a level where it looks like a game and then eventually they'll start to get better and this is where your coaching points come in um, and eventually they, they, it, it basically that's exactly what happened I, I came home I started to implement all the different rondos that we learned um, and I started with the six-year-olds six and seven year eight-year-olds and at the beginning it was like I said it was like this is not working and so forth but we persisted and we kept going and going and going and after a while two to three months down the track 
um, you could see the change in the kids because kids are sponges and they generally learn to to pick things up really, really quickly. So if you factor that into a concept where if you start at under sixes and you do it consistently for the next 10 years um, until they reach the age of 16, by the time they reach the age of 16, if the rondos are done properly, they will be masters at it. Their touch, the speed of thought, their instincts, they will no longer need to take two touches. Everything can be done in one touch with either foot and that's the whole concept of the rondo, but it has to be done properly. That's the main thing. So, um, I thought that was a, a, an interesting way to sort of for me to learn to 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 be able to go to these different countries and see the way they they do these things and um, and learn from them and then bring it back here and implement it here. And I think that by and large, over the last six years, the rondo has been a huge part of our development process. Um, we do it in everything. So. Um, in, all, in all our warm-ups, regardless of whether it's academy training or club training. So I hope that uh, helps you as a coach to maybe understand where you can come from. Um, I might uh, leave a link um, to another video at the end of this where you can see some um, variations of rondos as well. And if anybody uh, wants um, some, a document with um, uh, different types of rondos, we have, I've created one which is available. Um, just pop me an email or send me a message and, and I'll uh, forward it on to you. Uh, please uh, feel free to comment. I welcome any feedback. Um, enjoy your day.